Hey, I wanna give a big shout out to Laura Legends and a huge thank you because on today's Vintage Toy Hunt Adventure, I found something that is hard to find and I wouldn't have known it was hard to find if it hadn't been for Laura's videos. For any of you that have been in the toy collecting space or toy hunting space for any amount of time, I'm sure you know who Laura Legends is. Her account is awesome. Her videos are epic. And I just wanna say thank you, Laura, because I scored something today that is pretty cool and I'm really, really happy to add it to my collection. And if it hadn't been for you talking about this on several different occasions, I would have never known. So thank you. My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy Burp. And we're on another thrift store vintage toy hunt adventure, my friends. So we're gonna be starting off at Thrift Giant today, old thrifty pants and see what kind of goodies they got. Keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me. And check this out, I don't know if you saw this in one of my previous videos, but I had picked up this t-shirt from 1994 at Goodwill. It says uh, Jurassic Camp on it. And then I can't really read that backwards, but it's got some other stuff it says down here. But check that out, vintage 1994, baby. Your boy is styling in some vintage toys. So I think this might be my new favorite shirt. All right, guys, let's head in here and see what they got. Hey, check it out. It's our twin neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, check this out. We got an Imperial, a vintage Imperial T-Rex. And I've never seen this variant before. I always see them in green. I've never seen them in like this red color, this reddish brown. That is cool. Well, he is a little pricey. He's $3.99, but I've never seen that variant before, so we'll definitely grab him. Looks like we got a couple of turtle shells over here. We got some superhero stuff going on. Oh, this guy's cool. Oh, I thought maybe he might have more articulation than he does. I thought he had like elbow and knee articulation, but he doesn't. Still a cool figure. And then... Looks like we've got some sort of like Captain America type Iron Man. And speaking of Cappy, here he is with the paint wear on his nose as usual. Oh, look at this Batman T-Rex. I had this guy a while back, but I sold him. Wow, that Braun Strowman is still here. It's because they want $5 for him. It's too much. Oh wow, looks like somebody dumped their whole bobblehead collection. <laughs> Dang! Well, and here's a yeah, here's that Batman. They want twelve dollars and twelve cents for this guy. I think he's selling for like five or six bucks on eBay. Oh wow! Look at this whole Nerf setup. Fifteen bucks for that? Dang! Who was doing your pricing, Thrift Giant? Oh look at these uh, Fisher Price like, drag racing cars. That's cool. And it looks like we have like a whole ambulance fire department, police station, place at all, rescue station. Wow, look at the size of that beast. I had that thing about two years ago and uh, tried selling it and could not sell it. So I ended up just donating it back to the thrift store. Oh, look at this. We got a bullseye plush. That's a nicer one. He's got the plastic hooves, plastic saddle, plastic face. I've had him before and you would think like he would sell quickly and for a good bit of money, but it actually took me a long time to move him. Um, I think I eventually ended up selling him for like 15 bucks, even though the eBay listings were like, you know, showing them at like 35, $40 being sold, but all right, I'll just leave him here for a Toy Story fan. All right, guys, I got him. I got the red variant vintage Imperial T-Rex. How cool is he? It's gonna look great with my other Imperial dinosaurs. All right, up next, the Goody Wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at Goody Wheel, Frisco, Texas. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's head in there and see what they got. What this is, a little Kittle's cabin. 
I want 20 bucks for it though. I wonder if there's anything inside of it, or if it's just a case. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of little kitty cats. It's funny. Those were like vintage though too. This uh, is a seal. Oh yeah, this is a seal as well. Yeah, are they all? No, this is oh, but like, dude, there's like no cats in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is that probably like a little zoo or something? Yeah, it kind so of. So when you stand it up, oh okay, I get it now. So you stand it up, and it's like a palm the little stages oh, from the yeah, right. oh yeah oh yeah that's like a well those are beds i think these oh, okay. these probably don't go with it i guess yeah he went to he went to high school with my girlfriend all right well let's see are we gonna find anything on these shelves today these shelves have been pretty weak Yep, and they are still weak. Anything in Plushville? Hmm. Nope, don't see anything here either. All right, y'all. I got the Little Kittles cabin. It's from 1967. How cool is that? It's gonna need a little cleaning up, a little tender loving care, but let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. Okie dokie. So we got the little Kittles cabin. Got this little girl with her fishing pole. Looks like she's got caught her dinner for the day. There's a bunny rabbit. We could probably make some stew out of him. A little butterfly. Anything here on the backside? Oh, we got this little girl back here petting her cat. We got some birdies, some blue jays. So, well, I don't know if those are blue jays, but they're blue birds. Um, let's open this thing up. This actually came with a bonus. So, uh, by the way, this uh, thing right here, this uh, little Kittle's cabin, I saw one recently that sold for $44, and there was like a big, huge rip, like in the back of it right here. So I'm guessing I could probably get $35, $40 bucks out of this thing. But if we open this up, let's take a look inside here. It's got a little table. It's got a couple of beds in there. Um, looks like a bong in the background. <laughs> oh, it's like an I Dream of Genie bottle or something like that. And then there's an owl with a bookcase, some windows. But these little figurines right here. So I saw, like it's made by, uh, they're made by a company called Wade England. I think it says right there, yeah. Wade England. And, uh, this little frog is selling for about four to five bucks. And there's a couple of these frogs in here. Plus there's like, I mean, I haven't even looked up the other ones. Here's like this poodle, it's probably worth a little money. Animals are usually worth money. Uh, here's a hippopotamus. Well, I shouldn't say animals, dogs and cats because people love dogs and cats. Um, and here's another little doggy. Here's even, looks like a fish. Oh, that's cool. So I'm guessing, what is this? Is this a beaver? Yeah, it's like a little woodchuck, little beaver. Um, but uh, a woodchuck and a beaver are not the same thing. <laughs> but you get my point. Um, here's a fox. But I'm guessing, I mean, even if these were all worth like five bucks a piece, five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, there's probably like 70, $75 worth of little figurines in here as well on top of we'll say 30 bucks that i could get for the little kittles cabin so i paid 20 dollars for it and we probably have about a hundred dollars worth of value here so i'm going to clean this up it's super dusty um yeah so maybe i can get it looking like new all right well we got some 1960s vintage and we also have some 1980s vintage as well so I haven't been in Grace Bridge for a while, so we're gonna pop in there next. And by the way, I did find a VCR. I didn't uh, record it, but I stopped at uh, Plaza Thrift last night and they had a VCR in there and it worked. And I got it home and it worked even better, uh, but I paid uh, $6 for it. It was originally 12 and they had a 50% off all green tags last night. So like I, uh, it was a green tag item. So I got it 50%. So I got a VCR for six bucks, man, you can't beat it. All right, guys, let's head on into Grace Bridge and see what kind of goodies we can get. All right, well, what do we got here in their toy section? 
Got this Mickey Mouse plush. Some sort of dollhouse. Is that like a Fisher Price? What is that? Oh, look at this. We got a speedboat, a remote control speedboat. That's cool. Made by a company called New Bright Industrial. Oh, check out the Ms. Pac-Man plush. That's awesome. All right, I'm definitely grabbing this. And trying to pick Ms. Pac-Man up off the shelf. I knocked this off the shelf. A Batman pumpkin decorating kit. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with a Ms. Pac-Man plush. Look how awesome that is. It's made by Toy Factory which I think is the same company that makes those claw machine plushies. But this one's actually a really good quality. It's not like your typical claw machine plush. Yeah, I'm excited for this. This is awesome. Oh, check this out. So I always see Laura Legends talking about, or I've seen her multiple times talking about how this VHS, this, this 3D holographic card is usually missing from it. And it's kind of hard to find them with it on there. That is cool. So we are definitely gonna pick this up. I know that you normally charge like five bucks for their VHS here. It's a little crazy, but maybe, just maybe we can get a discount today. The store is always having some sort of discount offers. So that is cool. Yeah, we will definitely get that. All right, well, we just got an announcement that everything's 50% off today, so that works for me. Well, 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 we got it for like $4.35. We got it all for $4.35. Let's jump in the car and do some show and tell. Check her out, Ms. Pac-Man. She got her cute little red bow, still has the tags. Got her lipstick on. She's ready for a night out on the town. How cool is that piece, guys? And it's got this little string so I can like, you know, I can hang her from the ceiling if I want to. I think it's awesome. And uh, so cool that I got it for like three bucks. And then we also picked up this Lost World Jurassic Park VHS tape with the hologram card on it so cool the way the t-rex just kind of jumps out at you there so apparently the clamshell dvd or vhs are the ones that are like 4.99 these ones were like two dollars like a dollar 99 so i got it for a buck today bringing the grand total with tax of like 4.35 i'm really excited to get this i've been looking for one of these for a long time Ever since I saw Laura Legends uh, say that like it's hard to find these VHS with the cards still attached because I guess it's kind of like a collector's piece and collectors would remove them, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't know why a collector would do that, though, considering like it's part of, you know, the VHS. So but anyway, I think it's super cool. Well, that was a fun little Valentine's Day adventure. It's Valentine's Day, to, by the way, guys. It's a happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, I'm taking the girls out this afternoon for a one o'clock lunch. We're going to Boston's to have some heart-shaped pizza. They're serving up heart-shaped pizzas today. So me and the girls are gonna be heading out there in a couple of hours. But if you've enjoyed watching this content as much as I've enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.